boys and girls. Today for our Outrageous Art lesson, we get to learn about the Artist of the Month for September, whose name is Louise Nevelson. Louise Nevelson was born on September 23rd in 1899 in Russia. She immigrated to the United States with her family in 1904. She's known as one of the most original American sculptors in the 20th century. Many of her works are called assemblages, which is basically kind of like a collage. So a collage is where you take different kinds of paper and you glue them together. Well, Louise Nevelson actually made most of her sculptures out of pieces of wood. This art project combines science because we can actually help the earth by recycling to make this art project. Another name for this artwork is called junk art because basically you can use a lot of different pieces of junk or things that people would throw away to make your very own interesting sculpture. These sculptures can be kind of considered abstract because she uses a lot of different shapes in her art. So we're going to get to use the elements of art, shape, and we're going to be using one color to create unity. There are two different kinds of shapes in art. There's organic shapes, like the shapes that come from nature, like these that Louise Nevelson used. They don't really have names. But then there's also geometric shapes, like triangles. So we want to be able to identify geometric shapes and organic shapes in our artwork, and that's our goal today. So to start your very own junk art sculpture, what you're going to need is a piece of cardboard or cardstock. I'm going to write my name on the back. This looks like a good spot to put my name. And we want to put your teacher's code. So if it's D1, you want to put the code underneath your name. Now I'm going to turn my cardboard over and I want to start picking out the shapes that I want to use. So we want to find a lot of different types of junk. And I just so happen to have a giant bin full of junk that people probably were going to throw away. Like this dried out marker that doesn't have a cap. And these egg cartons that people were going to throw away. And bottle caps and bottle tabs. All of these can make a very interesting abstract sculpture. So I would like you to try to pick out at least 10 or more different shapes. And I would like you to have some organic shapes. Like, let's see, this seashell would be an organic shape because it comes from nature. And I want you to pick out some geometric shapes, like this bottle cap is a circle. So once you've chosen about 10 different shapes for your collage, then I want you to arrange them neatly onto your cardboard. So I might want to put a marker cap here. If I want to use the egg carton, I can actually cut the egg carton. So you can cut off pieces and glue them on. There's a piece right there. You can make it look like something, like if you actually want to make it look like a face, you can do that. I've got some bubble wrap, a seashell. You can cut this bubble wrap. Okay, remember you don't want you don't need to think about the color of the shape because we're going to end up painting these sculptures once they're dry all one color. That creates unity so that the people look at the shapes that you picked instead of the colors. So, once I have my shapes arranged neatly and I like the way it looks, actually I might want to move some of these around. Then I'm going to get tacky glue which is a really, really thick kind of glue, and I'm gonna glue all my shapes onto the cardboard. Okay. 
Okay, so now I have all of my shapes glued onto my cardboard. I have some geometric shapes like rectangles and some organic shapes like shells. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have way over 10 shapes and there's a variety of different shapes. So once your shapes dry, the next step that you're gonna do once they dry completely is to pick out one color to paint your sculpture. You can see Louise Nevelson painted this one all white. And the reason why we paint it all one color is so that it has unity and variety. So the variety is the different types of shapes. The unity is all one color. So this student painted all of theirs gold and it's absolutely beautiful. So I cannot wait to see how awesome your sculptures look. They will look kind of abstract. You don't have to make them look real unless you yeah. want to but I'm sure they're gonna turn out as great as the artist of the month. So good luck and have fun making your art.